All right, guys, it's Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about three keys to getting a yes. Now, remember this, okay? If you can get your clients to say yes, then they're going to buy. If they say no, your goal is to frame your words differently to get them to say yes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Check this out. All right, guys, it's Andy Elliott. I'm going to talk about three simple ways to get people to say yes. It's very simple, okay? Number one, you got to be the authority. Okay, write this down. Some of you guys don't write stuff down. That's why you never get better. You got to be the authority. Okay, what does that mean? Look at your posture. Look at the way you stand. Look at the way you walk. Look at the way you talk. Look at your eye contact. <laughs> Are your eyes smiling? Is your mouth smiling? Do you speak with your heart or do you speak with your mouth? Get people to believe that you're the authority and you love what you do. If you seem like you love what you do, then they don't see you as you taking this as a job. They see you as taking this as something that's personal to you and that means a lot to them. If they see you, it means a lot to them. Normally, they'll lean into saying yes with you because they want something you have or else how did you get their information or how did they get in front of you? You feel me? So number one is completely going to be confidence. It's going to be you being the authority. Never forget that. You're going to get 80% more yeses when they see you as authority. Number two. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Frame frame, F-R-A-M-E, frame people with your wording. What does that mean? That means if I want to get somebody to say yes, like you guys know if I'm outside on the lot and somebody's like, oh, Andy, I need to think about it. I can say, hey, I totally understand. At that point in time, what do we say? Of course you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. What I'd like to do is give you a quick five minute proposal of all the numbers so when you go home, you truly have something to think about. Would that be fair? Yes. See that? Write this down. Framing. Say what you're going to say, agree with them, and then always end, would that be fair? If I say, would that be fair, who's going to be like, no, that wouldn't be fair? No, that is fair. You can get them information. Everything that you say, would that be fair, will normally give you a yes. Okay, now write down another one, okay? At the end of the day, sometimes in order to get a yes, you have to talk about things that are important to them, okay? What does that mean? Dominant buying motive. Write this down. Dominant which means most important buying motive. Like, why are they with you? Why do they want to buy what you have? Why did they decide to reach out? Why did they decide to take action and come in? Okay? If you can find out these things, these things that are very important to them, right? It could be safety. It could be fuel mileage. It could be a warranty. It could be the fact that they're having another kid. Whatever it is, when you can leverage these things, then you could run the, the yes ladder game. Like, obviously, guys, you need a, a bigger vehicle. You need another seat. You're having a baby. So going with something bigger is going to be very important to you. As a matter of fact, it's 911. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. See, these things, I can always talk about what their dominant buying motive is, which means why they're there. And I can get them to say yes by saying, wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't you agree? By just reframing on all the things that they said were important to them. Now, by the way, if you hear me for a second, okay, amateurs, they don't use their ears, okay? They use their mouth all the time. They never listen. Your client is going to tell you how to sell them the entire time. By the way, do me a favor. Write this down. Stop selling. Start helping people, okay? You guys obviously could be a million other places right now. The fact that you're here, this is probably something that's important to you because if it wasn't important, you'd be here. There's a million other places you could be, okay? So tell me, what were a couple reasons why you bought the vehicle that you have now a couple years ago when you bought it? What are a couple reasons why you want to replace it today, right? And then also, what are a couple reasons why you want to upgrade into something else? And then within those couple of questions that they answer, wouldn't that tell you all the dominant buying motives why they're there? Yes. So in order to get people to say yes, you need to frame them, ask certain questions, make sure you're the authority, and obviously understand the power of momentum on running a yes ladder. Guys, I love you. You guys are always awesome. I like to drop little tips in here so you guys can take one simple thing. It could be a $10,000 idea, $100,000 idea. It could be a million dollar idea. Never underestimate the power of training, okay? So with that being said, if you guys need anything, make sure you shoot me a text message. Reach out to me. Tell me what you need help with. I got you guys' back for life. My personal cell is 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. You guys shoot me a text. I got your back for life. Tell me what I can help you with. Let's go. 
Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.